What to do though, today I'm doing this intro before the food is actually here, it should be on its way, and I wanted to eat it when, when it's hot and fresh and clean. And so I'm gonna get some explanations out of the way real quick, because uh, there are some things I wanna talk about um, with it. So basically today I'm eating Korean street food called takuchi, which means chicken skewers. And it's a classic Korean street food. It's probably, you know, I, I was even double checking before this, I was looking on, on a list of like, popular street foods. And I have to say, this is my favorite Korean street food. Easily top two and probably, you know, it ain't two. You know what I'm saying? I've had this many times over the years. I haven't had it in a few years, though I haven't had really any street food in quite a long time, to be honest with you. Street food is a thing here, um, but it's not like super popular. It's kind of condensed in certain areas, hold on, not bad. It's kind of condensed in like certain spots in certain neighborhoods and you will see it floating around like the solo dolo guy every once in a while, but um, a lot of times, you know, there's, for example, I can't think of any place within 20 minute walk or 30 minute radius. All right, y'all, we got the food here. We got every single kind of skewer they had. They had five different options and five skewers. It cost me about 15 bucks. So probably about the same price you'd pay on the street. Uh, like I was saying, this is a street food, but there are, you know, a couple restaurants that you'll see these days that do sell it. Like I was saying before, um, I just don't really find myself eating street food a lot. Like, like I was saying, it is certainly around and does exist, but uh, a lot of the street food, to be honest with you, is just not right up my alley. It's either like too sweet for me or too, you know, organy or too fishy or just something, you know. Oh, yeah, these are good. Smelling good too, man. Hells yeah. So you might be thinking, okay, just chicken skewers. Like what's so special about that? What's so Korean about that? Um, it, it, that's a fair point. I mean, it is kind of just like a chicken shish kebab type of thing or for lack of a better word. Uh, but there are some things that I think do make these pretty Korean in my opinion. They're usually grilled over like uh, charcoal or just some kind of you know, open flame. And yeah, these ones, I'll, I'll tell you, they're looking good. The place I ordered them from, it had really good reviews, 5.0 with like 200 ratings. All right, cool. So they're all looking a little bit different, but they all have some commonalities. Let me just show you this one real quick. This one is sauceless. It's the only one that doesn't have sauce on it. They're calling this just the salt version. So it's like seasoned with salt, maybe something else. But as you can see, very basic. But in between these pieces of what I'm guessing is probably thigh meat, I'm not really sure. Uh, there are pieces of scallion that this one has three pieces that are dividing it and this is the classic this is what you always see so they all have it let me just go down the line and show you tell you what i'm working with this one is teriyaki this one is spicy teriyaki this one is the salt version plain this one is yang nyum and this one is spicy yang nyum so uh yang nyum is kind of a classic korean sauce it's sweet, maybe kind of like a sweet chili type of thing, and usually paired with fried chicken. Let me just get into this, man, before it's too late. I'm going to start off. I'm just going to go down the line here. So let me start over here. Here is the spicy yang nyum. As you can see, you probably saw it earlier. It's got some good char to it. Uh, I like that. I respect it. And uh, going in. Mmm. All right, first bite. <clears throat> Let me just say, if I had any speculation earlier, it's it's debunked. This is my favorite Korean street food. It almost hands down. I gotta say, um, corn dogs are like a popular street food here too. And I do have a, a little spot in my stomach for those, but uh, these, these definitely gotta take the cake. And let me tell you, when I get fried chicken, I'm not the biggest fan of yang nyum sauce. Like I said, it's kind of like sweet, overly sweet sometimes. <clears throat> and for me, it doesn't exactly pair the best with uh, fried chicken. But on this chicken skewer right here, I just got a kick to it. In my opinion, sorry, in my opinion, it pairs so well so much better than with fried chicken. Real mean kick to it too. 
Uh, I'm probably just gonna eat half of this right now and just probably eat half, go down the line. So this one right here is the cousin or the brother of the one I just had. This one is just regular yang yum. I probably should have tried this one first. This one looks like it also has some kind of white sauce on it. Maybe mayo or something, not really sure. Going in. Mmm, okay. Yeah. I must have been hungry because <clears throat> these are freaking hitting right now. And like I, I said, I probably haven't had these in five years, maybe. Mm. Definitely a different flavor profile. Much more mild, not as spicy, not really spicy at all. Hells yeah. I already showed you this one earlier, but it's just a regular sauceless one. Mmm. That's pure. Mmm. I love the char flavor. Great flavor. Great texture, a well-seasoned and well-cooked piece of grilled chicken right here, man. That's, yeah. All right, moving on. This one is the hot teriyaki. I'm not sure if I've had this before. Usually I'd either just go for the plain one or just one with sauce. And I just like, hey, give me one with sauce, one without. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to taste this and figure out if it's a, a familiar memory to my taste buds. I don't think it is. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe it is. Yeah, I've had that. I've had this one. It's it's not spicy at all to me though. Definitely not as spicy as the spicy yum yum. So it's doing me a solid, but uh, this one, I might rank these here in a minute, or I might try. So next, going in with the regular teriyaki. This one looks, just right off the bat, way more sauced up. It's got a way thicker glaze to it. All right. Mm. This one also has some of that whatever that sauce is, maybe mayo. This one is a lot more flavorful than this one. I think, I think this one is the one that like leaked down the, the board here. So maybe it lost all the sauce. Mm. I gotta say, they're all, they're all good to me. They're all fire. These are all mighty fine to me, hitting the spot. I'm just gonna go down, see the natural order of things, and just let my instincts take over. Eat, save the best for last. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely, gonna, I'm, my instinct is to, let's, let's tackle this one first. Hmm. I don't know. Mmm. Real tough. The spicy young num and the uh the plain are my favorites. This one bites the dust first. It is what it is. Mmm. I was crazy. Want some eager McBeave. Jeez. I was hungry.
Ui, smell wow. And I, I guarantee you, I've never had more than two of these in one sitting. But this ain't weighing me down one bit. For me, this is a clean eat. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not so much the sauce ones, but it's all relative, you know? All right, y'all. So I would definitely recommend this. If you're ever in Korea ever, for, you know, whatever reason, and trying street food is on your to-do list, there are other street foods, but I think this one is the best, objectively. Get you a plain one and a spicy yangnam one, and you won't regret it. And if you do, it's definitely the vendor's fault. He, he's on some bogus. So... That's about it for now. I'm feeling light on my feet, ready to ready to go, ready to skate. So thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Peace.